it's Victor and Charlie for Yummy Japan. And today we are over here in Harajuku to go try out some amazing delicious sweets recommended to us by our friends over at Tokyo Chipo. So today is like my special day because I absolutely love sweets. And today we're gonna be getting, totally not reading from a list here, we're gonna be getting some rainbow cotton candy, some uh, gourmet popcorn. We're gonna be trying some crepes and they have this one new shop over here. That's called like Zaku Zaku from like Hokkaido. Sounds interesting. It, it sounds really good. We got some like cute cake pops with another little treat and we finally have some Kelby fries which are freshly made from one of the stores right inside. Awesome reading from the script there, Victor. 10 out of 10. I can't wait to go try them out. Let's go. Let's do it. First, we're going to stop at this shop called Sweet XO. They're popular for making multicolored frozen popcorn and cotton candy. Gigantic cotton candy. We're going to take the biggest one and see what it's all about. Okay, just look at this thing. It's, it's huge. It's bigger than my face and it's melting, so I, I'm going to have to try this as fast as possible. It's melting because of the humidity. It is. <laughs> my god. How are you supposed to even eat this? This. This is really delicious. There's all those different layers here of flavors. My hands are covered with cotton candy because it's so humid. It's melting. So probably not the best treat to have in summer. Wow. Look at that. That's huge. <laughs> How was your cotton candy experience? That was a trauma. That was traumatic? It was traumatic, but it was really delicious. I expected it to be sweeter. But actually, it was really easy to eat, even though it was huge. It was bigger than me. But <laughs> yeah, I would definitely try it again, maybe with some gloves next time, because I didn't have gloves this time, and I turned into the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> so what would you rate this out of 10? Maybe a good 8 out of 10. I expected it to be sweeter, but actually, it had some really nice flavors. You could taste the watermelon, you could taste strawberry, you could taste lemon. That was perfect. Next up is Marion Crepe, which is a staple of Harajuku in terms of crepes. Right now they're having two summer limited edition crepes, Mint de Mint and Colorful Summer. So we're going to try those out. So what I got here is the limited summer special. This is the Mint de Mint and it comes with some, uh, I guess this is like mint cream? Ah, oh, that's mint cream. It's pretty good. These little like chocolate cookies. Mm. Okay, that, that's pretty good. And right in the center, got some ice cream. How would you rate that? 10 out of 10. Delicious. I got the colorful summer, so I think it's like topped with lots of fruits and there's some ice cream at the bottom and there's like a super colorful marble ice cream, they call it. Mmm, wow, okay. Almost tastes like chewing gum, it has like a fun taste to it. Mmm. The fruits are super fresh. It's funny how they call it crepe, but I've actually never seen crepe like this in France. But really delicious. They know how to do it. Probably a 10 out of 10 for me. 10 out of 10. Really nice. After that delicious crepe, we have to stop by Zaku Zaku. Popular for their cream puffs filled with custard made from Hokkaido. It's a croquant shoe Zaku Zaku. Apparently it expires today, so you need to eat it fresh when it's made fresh. Eat it immediately. Yes, let's open it. So I can't, I don't even know how to describe this. What do you call it, like a shoe puff cream yes. something? cream puff filled with uh, actually a homemade custard. Anyways, let's dig in. Here it goes. Mm. Oh wow, the custard is so creamy, so rich. How would you rate this on a sugar level? Probably a six out of 10. Like the coating is very sweet, but the inside the custard is not that sweet. It's very tasty. It does taste slightly, a bit like uh, peanuts. Let me get a bite of the, uh, the custard here. Not bad. It's a little bit liquidy than what I would imagine a normal custard would be. Normal custard is more kind of like pudding, I guess in my sense. Uh, I was expecting it to be a little bit more thick, however this is a little bit creamy. Aside from that, yeah, highly recommend it. I'd probably give this like a 7 out of 10. You come on out here and try it. Cheap, easy to get to, there's not a huge line for it anymore, so uh, it's definitely worth it. Bottoms up. Okay, now we're going to have something a little bit more salty, so we're going to try some Kelby fries. They're actually made on the spot here at this shop. They have two different flavors, they have cheese and a salad flavor. I think we're definitely going for the cheese flavor one. Oh yeah. 
So these are made on the spot Kalbi fries. They're still like warm. There's actually some smoke coming out of them. Wow. And it's coated with cheese. La fromage, la fromage de la France. Why do you have an accent when I speak French? Anyways. Omelette du fromage. <laughs> Anyways. Mm. Hot. Mm. The potatoes are really good. They're like very fluffy and it's coated in nice cheese. The cheese flavor is not too intense, so it's a very good balance. And it's crunchy, but fluffy on the inside. Perfect. All right, guys, so I've been waiting for this pretty much all day. We've had nothing but sweet stuff the entire day, and it's probably gonna be like the only salty thing that we have on the menu. We uh, literally saw them create these fries. Create, is that a thing? Bake, uh, deep fry these fries. Is that why they call them fries? Super nice and warm and hot. Mm. Okay, this is good. It was very good. The cheese is amazing. It has a nice, like, salty flavor to it. I'm definitely gonna savor these. Um, these, I would say, are about like an eight out of ten. And I say that because um, the majority of like oil is still kind of in the fry. I know that's a very small thing to complain about, but it, it does have this kind of like little oily aftertaste. But hey, if that's your thing. All for you. Either way, these are good. Let's go to the next one. For our next treat, we're trying a newly opened shop, Koi Soft, a soft cream shop that sells super intense flavored sesame seed soft creams. We tried out two of their most popular items, white and black sesame soft creams. Both are topped with oiro, a traditional snack that is crispy and sweet. Overall, it was delicious, very creamy, cute, and totally deserves a 9 out of 10. We're still hungry for some more, so now it's time to try out Tutti Kandi, a shop so popular they have a ticket service which tells you the time you can come. They are popular for sweets, cotton candy, and cake pops. We chose three super cute ones to try. Okay, let's try it out. Okay, give it a shot. It comes in ice cold, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do this fast. Okay. <laughs> so let's uh, give this a try. Okay, you first. Okay. My God, you ripped its head off. It <laughs> ripped it straight in half. Pretty dense. This is not. This is not a cake, everybody. It is like a ball of chocolate. And it's like a very, very, very like super dense brownie. You have a really, really strong sweet tooth. I'd recommend it. However, I think I've been uh, been uh, sweetened out today. I would rate this part like a seven out of ten. I mean, I really like the the coating, the candy kind of coating on the outside. It's really, really it's cute. cute. It's definitely like super Instagram material. Make sure to follow me on Frame of Travel. Kind of bit his head off though. It's not, it's not Instagram material anymore. Another Harajuku treat staple, Garrett's Premium Popcorn. They have a ton of different popcorn flavors. It's very high in quality. This shop usually has over two hour long lines and today we're going to see if it's worth the wait. All right, so one of the last things that we got today is this Garrett popcorn. Now this thing used to be super popular out here in Harajuku and their lines used to go over like, what, two, three hours? People just to get this. Is it worth it? Let's find out. Let's get a, let's get a look inside here. This is very vibrant in cheesy Cornish goodness. Great. All right, so moment of truth. Is this worth it? <laughs> oh yeah. This is legitly good. I mean, usually when you get like something like a cheddar or cheese, it's usually like sprinkled on. But this is more kind of like a like a sauce that's just dribbled on every single popcorn. The flavor is delicious. Uh, I mean, it, it's really kind of an intense, cheesy flavor. That's the best way I could describe it. Uh, if I were to rate this today, uh, <laughs> this would definitely be a 10 out of 10. Did you see on the back? It's super cute. On this side, it says, "To me, from me." So it's gonna be for me, not for Charles. Uh, Sorry, buddy. All right, so if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe, and hit that little bell button for notifications for future videos. And we'll catch you guys next video. Cheers.